Our Alaska mountaineering training was almost over. We are now three weeks in. This is our camp this morning. Woke up, snowing. The doors were kind of blocked by snow when we woke up. <laughs> this is gonna be a quick tour of our base camp setup. Pretty much everything that we've built so far. Right here we built four different walls in front of all of our tents and it's just trying to block the wind blowing into our tents and blowing our stuff away. This is our snow kitchen right here. Will's in the background cooking dinner. A lot of our drinking water came from melting down snow. This area is our camp bathroom. Right now everyone is working on rebuilding the wall so that we can get a little bit, little bit more privacy. I'm going into the Quincy to dig it out a little bit. This was a large mound of snow that we had piled up before beginning to hollow out. There are thousands of pounds of snow on top of me. It just seems like it could fall pretty easily. We're moving into the Quincy. Welcome to our humble abode. We are sleeping in a pile of ice on top of a glacier. With only a few more days left on the glacier, there was one thing that everyone wanted to do before leaving Alaska. It is midnight in Alaska right now and we are waking up to try to go climb to the top of a peak. We're waking up right now to try to avoid any avalanches that the sun may cause. So we're going to be hiking for the next five to six hours through the night. We're going up to the top of that mountain. This was one of the only times we didn't have to worry about snow blindness, so I left my sunglasses in my bag. It's four in the morning, the sun is now rising instead of setting, uh, and we're just hanging out on the side of the mountain. The tiny little speck in the middle of the snow are little tents all the way down there. We have successfully summited this peak. We're at 7,400 feet. At this point, we had a few days left in our expedition, and we needed to hike back down the glacier to get to our pickup point. I had spent most of our trip documenting it through my camera, so with the last few days, I put the camera down and took in Alaska with only my eyes. And it was amazing. Until next time, Alaska.